Hello. Today we're going to be talking about a three-sided structure on Mars, which some characterize as a pyramid. Let's have a closer look, shall we? Here's a wide shot of the area in question. What do you see here? In the middle of the screen, it's kind of tiny. It's a three-sided structure. Can you see it? There's nothing else like it in the area. Let's zoom in and get a closer look at it. There we go. This thing is slightly larger than the pyramid in Egypt, the Great Pyramid in Egypt. It's just shy of a thousand feet wide. It was originally photographed in 2007 and discovered by a gentleman by the name of Keith Laney. And Keith Laney justifiably states, were this found anywhere on Earth, we'd surely be digging into it. I'd have to agree with him. If you take a look at the Egyptian pyramids, some that are in disrepair, you know, from above, it's hard to say with any certainty that they are in fact pyramids. It's not until you go up close and take a closer inspection of these things that you can verify that yes, these things were man-made, they are in fact pyramids, but from above, they don't look like much. But here we have something on Mars, which is in arguably better shape, and I'm wondering why it is so easily dismissed as being a pyramid. Now, I know what you're thinking. <laughs> Carl Sagan, right? He's got this interesting quote. Extraordinary claims require extraordinary evidence. So let's examine this word evidence. I like to use the word evidence in the strictest legal sense, meaning it is suggestive of. Proof, meaning it is conclusive of. So when we're talking about the difference between evidence and proof, well, I can't prove that this thing is a pyramid, but in the court of law, photographs are submissible as evidence. And I would argue that what we have here is, in fact, extraordinary evidence. We have a high-resolution orbiter photograph that is clearly showing a three-sided structure, pyramidal in nature. It's the size of the Great Pyramid in Egypt. And oh, by the way, it's not part of a mountain range. It's not connected to anything. It's too small to be a volcano, and it's not even round. So, what is it? What, what high-speed winds cause something like that to be created? You know, Carl Sagan has this other interesting quote to which I would respond with. Intelligent life first reveals itself through the geometric regularity of its construction. Now, what does that mean? Well, if you're looking down on the surface of a planet, how would you know there's intelligent life there from above. You'd start taking a look to see if there's any symmetry to its structures, any roads, any buildings, any grid of a city. And here we have something that has equal sides, it has symmetry, it has straight edges, it's got repeated expressions of geometry. So the ultimate question is, what geological process creates a three-sided pyramidal structure like this. It just is so baffling to me why we can take a look at this and say to ourselves, there's nothing to see here. Clearly, this is an anomaly. So we're gonna be taking a look at other structures on Mars in this YouTube series, but what do you guys think? Am I seeing things or does this thing need a closer look?